GM friends. Any boomers out there old enough to remember the Ellipsis Finance airdrop? Ellipsis Finance is a friendly curve fork on Binance Smart Chain. And when they announced their airdrop over a year ago, it was possibly the biggest airdrop in all of DeFi history. At the time, Binance Smart Chain was looking like a credible threat to Ethereum. So Ellipsis was getting a lot of hype pushing their EPS token as high as $7 at its peak. When they announced their front-loaded 52-week airdrop to curve holders, it was all anybody in the curve universe could talk about for a matter of weeks. And it worked out really great for anybody who dumped. Stakers, not so much. In the intervening year, Binance Smart Chain has hit on hard times. Rug pulls, hacks, hostile regulators. And as a result, a lot of BSC-based projects lost a lot of oomph. EPS plummeted, trading around 18 cents as of this morning. Still, the airdrop continued throughout, and Ellipsis, like you do in a bear market, just kept building. The airdrop wrapped up last week, and EPS took the opportunity to announce the anticipated EPS v2, bringing a number of changes, features like boosting, staking, familiar to members of Curve Governance. And they also announced they'd be phasing out EPS in favor of EPX. EPX is a 1.5x larger total supply, with EPS holders able to convert one EPS to 88 EPX. You can make this conversion forever, and in fact, that contract's not released yet. But there is some time pressure if you've been neglecting your EPS claims. If you have EPS lying around, most likely in DECRV or if in Convex through the interface, you have until the end of the month to claim it before it expires. So it might be worth taking a look if you have staked recently in Convex and didn't know about the Ellipsis Finance airdrop, or if you have some VECRV lying around, it may well be worth taking a look and claiming if you feel safe. Be careful out there, friends.